We're the Nasty TV with Chris Agata ahead of Saturday's trip to Weymouth. Aggie, how are you looking ahead of this one? Uh, I think in a decent place. I think we've won, you know, won three out of the last four, so um, building a little bit of momentum. Um, but definitely not complacent um, because we felt that we were pretty average at times against Haven, and albeit for a last sort of a decent last. 20 minutes, um, we would have lost that game. So, um, you know, we're in a good place, but ultimately we know we need to improve and, and Weymouth have picked up. Um, but having watched a number of their games, I think the football gods have been against them a little bit because in the games I've seen, they've been decent. Um, so we know that's going to be a difficult test and we know that we're going to need to be a lot better than what we were last weekend if we're to uh, win the game. Touching on last weekend, then I know as you just mentioned, not pleased with a lot of it, but you showed resilience and, and came through with a three-two win in the end. What have you taken from that game after watching it back? Uh, I just think it's where we're at. We're, we're playing in moments, um, and we're we're um, it's one of the benefits of having very good players. You know, those moments are pretty impressive. You know, but uh, we. We said to the group that we need to find more consistency across the whole game um, if we're to do what we want to do, um, because ultimately better teams will will punish us. And uh, no, it's it, it, it's equally it's exciting though because you know when we do find that consistency and uh, obviously build more familiarity because you know, it's, it's still early days and there's been a lot of change in the group which. Uh, more than we would have liked, but you know that that starting eleven is the first time that starting eleven's played together, and I think at times it showed. Um, but I just think with more time together, more work on the training pitch, even more demand on the group, uh, learning from what we've experienced so far, you know we're only going to get better. So um, that's 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 the exciting thing. But the big thing is consistency, and that's not game to game. That's just minute to minute at the moment in games. And just while we're on the topic of the FA Cup, um, drawn at home to Dartford in the next round, are you happy with that? Very similar to Haven't really. Like, you know, they're they're a National League South club, aren't they? Like, really, I mean, they're a big club, and um, you know, we we acknowledge they're going to be a very difficult game. And what I would say is the Haven't game and the Dartford game. I don't think it's particularly different to any other game that we're going to. Really, we're going with the expectation to win. Um, but equally really respectful of, of a dangerous opposition so uh, yeah now we look forward to it though and looking ahead at Saturday then back to the National League South yeah. uh, Weymouth what do you make of them as an opposition uh, just like I said they're, they're, I think their the league positions are false if I'm being honest um, similar to St Albans I think um, like I said the football gods have been against them a little bit like one of them when the when the ball can either go inside the post or outside the post, I think for Weymouth it's gone outside the post and against them it's gone inside the post. I think it's been really small margins. Um, they've not been they've not been sort of battered in any game that I've seen. They're a good side and, and Mark, uh, their manager is very experienced and um, has been very successful. And I've got no doubt that they will they will pick up and it will be a really difficult test. And looking at the squad, uh, obviously you had Sam Beard and Kane Wills added to the injury list. How are they progressing at the moment? Uh, Kano, um, we're hopeful, will be uh, available for selection for Weymouth. Uh, Beardy is tough lad, so I think for some other lads it it might be too soon, but um, he's desperate to get back out there and equally we're desperate to get him out there. So. Um, He's still touch and go. We're more positive on Kane. We think Kane's more of a of a realistic um, option, but um, equally it wouldn't surprise me if Beard is available. So they've made good progress. And then the other two, Joel Coburn and Cameron Tut, how are they progressing? Yeah. Uh, Tut, he's um, still think he's you know he's back running now. He's weight bearing, straight line running, done a bit of change of direction. So he's sort of progressing. And Joel. Um, we're looking at a week to ten days, I think. Is there anyone else that might miss out, or full full bill of health other than that? Yeah, no, I think I think we're 
we were uh, pretty loaded. Um, we had a couple, like Tommy Willard and Sam Packham didn't train on Tuesday just because we were, um, obviously Paco has been out injured for a long time and so we're managing his, his sort of uh, recovery, probably being a little bit more careful with him and Tommy Willard because he runs ridiculous amount every game it's um we just sort of tailored his workload really um just give him the give him a light on tuesday night but other than that we're uh, we're good to go thanks aggie all the best saturday Cheers,